Hello everyone, welcome to Quantifiers, which is India's best and most affordable CAT coaching. Now, before I discuss the solution for the question, let me quickly tell you that if you're a serious CAT aspirant, then please follow these steps. It will help you a lot in your preparation. Other than the students, if you want to receive important notifications on your WhatsApp related to different colleges or different exams, then please fill the form given below in the description. Other important links are also there in the description itself. Okay, now let us come to the question. I hope all of you have given it a try. So the question here says, a shop owner bought a total of 64 shirts, which came in two sizes, small and large. Price of a small shirt is 50 less than that of a large shirt. She paid a total of 5,000 for large shirts and a total of 1,800 for the small shirts. We have to find the price of a large shirt and a small shirt together. Okay, so first of all, uh, let us consider the price of a small shirt is let's say X. So can I say price of a large shirt would become X plus 50. Further, it is given she paid a total of 5,000 for large shirts. So can I say number of large shirts would be 5,000 divided by X plus 50. And the number of small shirts would be 1800 divided by X. Now, these are total number of shirts, which is also given to us as 64. So, this is 64. Ke hai. Now, students, one way of doing it is you solve this quadratic, you will get the answer, but it would be slightly lengthy. See, other way of doing it is it, what we are asked in the question is price of a small shirt and a large shirt. If we add small shirt and large shirt, we will add 2x plus 50. Now, students, uh, 99% of the times uh, in such type of questions, value of X should be an integer value. Okay. I'm not saying that X will definitely be an integer, but it should be an integer value. If you think that X ki value is integer, hai, can I say 2 into X will be even? And 50 is already even. So that means price of a large shirt and a small shirt, which is coming out to be 2X plus 50, it should be an even value. So, I mean, my answer is that it should be even. So, students, I option number 2 or option number 4 ko directly eliminate. Kar sakta now, in the remaining two options, let us assume that first option is the answer. So, if the first option is my answer, hai, so in that case, 2x plus 50, which is the price of a large shirt and a small shirt together, that is equal to 150. So, here I have x ki value, jayegi, which comes out to be 50. Now let us see whether this is satisfying or not. If X is equal to 50, that means small shirt ka price 50 ho gaya or large shirt ka price 100 ho jayega. So now if I put X is equal to 50, so X plus 50 is 100. Now 5,000 by 100 will give us 50. 1,800 by 50 would give us 36. 50 plus 36 comes out to be 86, right? So that means option number one is also incorrect. Okay. I hope everyone is getting this option. Number one is also incorrect. So jo bacha wa option hai, hamara answer hona now let us cross check it, whether it is satisfying or not. So if this is my answer, so can I say two X plus 50 is equal to 200. Because I have assumed that the third option is my answer. So, how much will the X's value come from here? That is 75. So, the small shirt price is 75. So, large shirt price would be 125. Now, let us see whether this is satisfying the equation or not. So, X's place is 75. X plus 50's place is 125. Now, 5000 by 125. 5000 by 125 is 40. And 1800 by 75 is 24. 40 plus 24. Yes, it is coming out to be 64. So that means it is satisfying. Option number three is the correct answer. Okay, students, I hope this is clear to everyone. Thank you, everyone.